not, I say not, but we do not agree. Yes, so do your tombstones always fall over or break in half? Do your spider webs always come out just a hot mess? Stephanie Pena Frost, owner of Princess and the Monkey Home Decor is back to show us how to do your decorations right and how to make them last. Yes, Okay. exactly. So we're starting with, okay, you, you find these at all the stores. There are small ones, there are bigger ones, and yeah, you know, they're kind of overpriced for what they are, but they're the foam tombstones. They're the foam tombs, tombstones, and with Texas weather, you never know when there's gonna be a, 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 a windstorm, you never know when there's gonna be anything kind of to kind of, you know, break your break your tombstone. So the best thing to do is to get it's called core plast and I got this at the home improvement store. You get them by the sheets. You trace out your your lovely tombstone. You put some hot glue on the back of it, put it down, and it makes them rigid. It oh. makes them much more rigid. And you want to put the glue on the core plast so that way it doesn't melt through the foam. And then you do it to where the, the little lines are that way. Mm -hmm. So you take uh, oh, that's a great oh, idea. Genius. Coat hairs. Just the metal. Yes. The and metal then hairs. Okay. you stick them in the ground. There you go. Or, they I mean, you could even use chopsticks you can for use that chop too, well, if you had it. Well, this is such a small hole oh, okay. in the bottom. You want to okay. use this. And it makes, you can put as many as you want, as many as you need. And it's great because you can do them large, you can do them small, mm -hmm. you can do it for at whichever size you need. And that's just what some of them need. It's just that little bit of reinforcement okay. so if the winds blow, they don't go with it, right? Exactly. Okay. So now we, lighting okay. is important, right? Correct. So lighting is gonna, it's what's gonna make your Halloween decorations pop. It's what's gonna bring the kids to the yard for the candy. So you wanna do different things, like um, use, use different lights. The color lights aren't just for Christmas. So they have orange and yellow and green. Decorate your trees purple, with that. Purple, yes. all the cool LED stuff. LED strobe light here. Strobe okay. lights. So that little setup there, you set it up to music mm -hmm. and it will strobe the lights and the sound to the music. It'll play along with that. So it creates that big impact on your house and your front yard. And those are available online. And the lower you kind of drop that strobe, yes. looking up at, say, a, de a, a decoration, it'll give that big shadow behind it. So Correct. If that's so what you're going for. Play that's with what the to lights do. to create the shadows and to create that, that really cool effect that's going on. And I love those. Those look like burning embers. Oh, wow. The, so candy, the candy, candy corn, corn lights. Candy corn yes. lights. Yes. Where do you, do you, are these like at Home Depot and stuff? Uh, Home yeah. Depot, H-E-B. Really? Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, See, I need some of those. everywhere. They're okay. really cool. Okay. All right. The Bane. Yes. Of how, do you, how do you do spider webs right? <laughs> yes. So okay. this is, you know, we've always, I mean, I started off by always putting tape. Yeah. It's like, oh, you can okay. just tape it and it'll be great. And that's what I was doing off the top is putting clear push pins up here. So what do I do? Just take a corner? Just take a corner. I guess. Okay. Correct. And put it on there like that and then just gently pull it across. And, and it'll like create this. that effect. The more you pull it, the more uh, that spidery kind of look and feel you will you will get and what's great about those clear push pins are they're clear so they won't show up and you don't have to worry about getting the little foam sticky dots that will pull off when it's wet or get too dusty um, at on our front um, on our front porch, we went all out and put screws in our in our walls. Well, and, and wherever you put the push pins, you could kind of pin the spider to, spin and it'll look. Spider to, yes. correct? Yeah, they have these great lights um, this is, that okay, are, this that are really spider lights, mm -hmm. and you can pin the you you can use that. You can use the push pins to hang the like the little spider lights from, so it makes them kind of glow even more. And it's just a, I love, I love the idea with the push pins. Yes, I mean, and look at this, okay? He hosts, he does weather, he spins webs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that, in just a couple of seconds. Nicely done. <laughs> yeah, and that has, and, it, and if there's little holes there, you can kind of sort of, you know, get it together, and that yeah. covers up the holes like that. Exactly. Okay. Kind of and real quickly, itself. before we go, we got about 40 seconds left. Yeah. How to make the pumpkin last. So pumpkins always mold. In this weather, they can always, always mold. So um, so I, I wouldn't, I, so you want to do a bleach and water solution. So you do uh, one part bleach to 10 parts water. You put it in a, you cut your, you cut your pumpkin, you clean it out, you soak it in the bleach, let it dry completely. Every time you make a cut, you let it, you do that. You put the bleach and it'll kill all the bacteria. But afterwards, after you've had it cut, you want to mix uh, some peppermint, 
uh, essential oils with some clear, non-fragrant hand soap Gives it kind and of water. A coating on there. And then you spray it, and it'll keep it moist, and it'll okay. kill into any an a fungus because that's an antifungal. Ideas, and if you'd like more information, fantastic ideas as always, Stephanie. Princess and the Monkey Home Decor. Go to asalive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Appreciate it. Thanks.